Tai Tuivasa from Australia taking on the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. You knew this one was going to be uh, high energy and lots of bombs being thrown. And my God, it, speaking of perseverance, I thought Derek was about to get um, Ty out of there at one point, And that guy just, Ty put his head down, started coming back, firing shots, eventually got him in tight with a short little elbow and like a gigantic uh, oak tree down goes Frazier, or in this case, down goes Lewis, and uh, Derek Lewis face plants in the in the ring, and credit to Ty Tuivasa for not jumping on him and continuing the pummeling like we've seen people do in the past, almost out of instinct, but uh, he didn't give him any finishing shots, thank God, hopefully we see Derek Lewis back in the act, back in the ring again, and hopefully he's okay, seems like a really nice guy, and a big win for Ty Tuivasa, uh, how'd you like that one? Well, Lewis, you know, you know what you're going to get, I mean... It's like <laughs> you're getting a knockout one side of the aisle or the other. <laughs> yep. You know, either either he's going or you're going. You know, really, that's <laughs> kind of his attitude. That's his thing. That's his style. And, of course, he's got that power. He's, yeah, as I always talk about when I always did the ESPN shows, I would say punches are born, they're not made. And that's what you were dealing with. Um, I, I had tweeted uh, before this, uh, you know, Another thing that I used to have a habit of saying when I thought a fight could end at any moment, uh, I tweeted, and I was tweeting like crazy that night again, you know? And, <laughs> I and saw I you wanted, were on I fire. Wanted thank, they had you on the broadcast. Yeah, they did. It was excellent. I want to thank Ian, uh, uh, Rob's guy. He, he's a good guy. He's a uh, special guy. And Rob went out to dinner. Uh, I finally released him that he, uh, you know, he could go to dinner with his new beautiful wife. Uh, he always is there doing the tweets for us. And Ian filled in for him and, again, had his hands full dealing with me. <laughs> had his hands full. <laughs> but he did, but he, he's great. And I want to thank him. And I know he watches the show. So thank you. But the thing I tweeted out right before that fight was... That's I Ian Ian Mackey. And yeah. he used to run Stanford's uh, Stanford University social media channel. So he's a uh, an industry expert, as they say. And he needs every bit of that expertise to deal with Teddy Atlas. <laughs> and, and, it's you, and it's all brought to the forefront. It's all you. You know what's funny about that, Teddy? When people always ask me, hey, you watching the fights tonight? And they know I have the show. I'm almost like... Are you going to work Tuesday morning yeah, right. or Wednesday or Thursday? Of course I'm watching the fights. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. But uh, so I tweeted just before the fight that, hey, don't go to the refrigerator. <laughs> yeah. You know, because that's, that's kind of Captain Obvious, right? I'm being Captain Obvious, <laughs> but I'm saying it in my own, in my own way. And uh, as you said, first round, it's all loose. You know, and uh, Tuvasa survive just for two reasons one his beard his chin he's got a tremendous chin and his heart Tai Tuivasa's head is a cinder block yeah Derek Lewis punched him on his <laughs> head and in his face so many times with clean full force shots at one point when he hands. had him up against the cage I was like how is this head absorbing this what's it made out of because Derek Lewis knocks everybody out he, and he knocked him silly a couple of times but Tai Tuivasa this is like well his head's attached to his heart because he's he's, oh, a, he's a warrior you know, deserves he, he, every every ounce of respect I mean, all and all those credit. guys are warriors he literally comes from an area in the world where they're prided as warriors, uh, you know, being brought yep. up as warriors and behaving like warriors. And um, Not only that, Teddy, after those guys from Oz and New Zealand with Izzy and, and Ty and those guys, I don't even think they can get back in their country. Like, they're, they're, they're indefinitely, from what I understand from uh, one of the interviews Izzy did, that they don't know when they can get back in. Oh, it was, sorry, Gene Behrman, Eugene, the, the, the trainer, trainer was saying, yeah. we don't know a date the UFC had to find us housing here because by taking the fight, the prime minister in New Zealand, and I think maybe Oz, they have a travel ban that you can't get back in. Even with their, you know, they had um, their quarantine rules where you had to go to a government-mandated hotel. You had to stay in the room 14 days by yourself. Like, that's no minor feat. And, and to have these guys come over and then have to go through that just to get home is 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 a lot of effort and i think that now those guys are all stuck in the in the u.s which if they want to be here great but if you want to go home to your family that's got to be a bit of a drag especially if you come over and lose and then you got to stuck here thankfully they both won but uh 
yeah, that's another wrinkle to the to the to the equation that has to be considered in the psychological part of the build up. Yeah, I'm going to be stuck in this country for a few months. Yeah, in other words, it's called you better be committed. And um, yes, and these guys are damn committed. Committed to their code of behavior too, uh, which we sure. saw display again by Tavasa, and I tweeted right after that first round. Uh, thanks to Ian, Ian, uh, that you know what this is going to be very interesting, <laughs> because even though he dominated, Lewis dominated, said this this uh, Tavasa with his heart and grit. What he just put on display, and now he's there for this to answer the bell for the second, where most people wouldn't be. This is going to be interesting, and you know what? Mm -hmm. It sure as hell was. It sure as hell was, and uh, you know because of that. uh, And again, I'm going to go back to what I say about separating these guys, where they're all tough, but then when one guy's a little technically smarter, a little bit, he becomes tougher. That happened. In it in this fight with Tuvasa, uh, tu, uh, Tuvasa, how am I pronouncing? Tu, tu, tai Tuivasa. Tuivasa, because Tuivasa showed exactly what I talk about with that, because in the second round his toughness got him there, no doubt about it, but his intelligence won it for him. Because what did he do? He made an adjustment. A lot of people might not have noticed that. They saw two big guys slugging it out. Not quite. Two of us uh, started countering in between the big shots of Lewis, in between his reckless aggression. I'll say it again, his reckless aggression. And he was catching him in between, and that's how he hurt him. That's how he hurt him. And then to finish it off, he goes and hits him with a elbow, a clean elbow that puts the lights out for Lewis. Can you imagine a guy that big? It's one thing to get hit with his fist. That's that's not good. That's that's bad. But then you go and get hit with his elbow. Oh, that's that's worse. <laughs> that's worse than bad. You know that that's worse than bad. I mean, that's worse than putting the lights out. That's that's like having an electric, uh, just tearing the electric out of your walls. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's not just hitting the light switch. <laughs> you know, and I mean, he Teddy, he went down face plant, no hands up, straight down on his face. Man, a guy 266 pounds, he has to cut weight to make the heavyweight limit of 265. He, yeah. I mean, he um, he really showed me something. I, I like this guy, Tuivasa. Uh, and I wanted to say this, that... Yeah, you know, he's crude looking. You know, he is. But he's more than that. And I hope I did it justice to give a little bit of a a window into that. He's more than that. I looked at him, and at the end of the night, during the night, I said, this guy is, yeah, he's a crude looking dude, but which a lot of these big guys are. Uh, but he's there's something else to this guy, and he just displayed it. He just displayed it. He's an interesting guy. You know who else was crude a little bit like Ty, but when it came time to throw hands, he looked as slick as anyone, is uh, Andy Ruiz when he beat Anthony Joshua. Oh, Coming into the ring, you'd look at him like Ty. Oh, he could fight. No, Andy Ruiz could fight. No, he could fight. He his hands like us. You know, I, I used to always say on ESPN, there was, there's something about this that I wanted to follow. I wanted to do like a... Um, or research on it. The, how many big guys, I'll go and say it, fat guys, okay? I, I'm not trying to insult no one, but let's get right to the point. Uh, chubby guys, uh, they all have fast hands. I've seen so many of them. You go back to Tony Tubbs years ago. He won the heavyweight title for about five minutes. You go back to, uh, there's a whole bunch of them, and they all got fast hands. <laughs> and I always try to think, wow, you know, where, where does that, you know, where does that connect? You know, I made a joke once on ESPN. I said, because, you know, at the dinner table, you know, they their hands had to be fast to get the food. And, uh, you know, they <laughs> that's part of the reason they got the body they got because they had the fast hands to get the food before anyone. And listen, I'm joking. I'm not trying to, I'm joking, okay? We're, we're all brothers here and we can have a little joke um, uh, with each other. But a lot of heavy dudes have quick hands. And uh, so when I, and Ruiz, of course, 
definitely had quick, or still has quick hands. But the other thing I want to mention after analyzing that fight, Ken, was one thing once again that was kind of shown out about the UFC and why, and again, I know a lot of my my brothers out there and sisters out there that are boxing fans sometimes think I'm picking on my sport. No, I'm not picking on my sport. I'm doing what I've done my whole life. I'm pointing out what I believe to be true. And the UFC and, you know, it, it showed once again why they're outdrawn boxing, you know, on a regular basis for weekly, regular, consistent shows is that they have... Very few boring shows. <laughs> what's the last time you saw? I know you get them, but what's the last time that you've seen a boring UFC? F I can't think of it. And maybe, maybe Derek I Lewis, could. Derek, Derek Lewis, Lewis and, and Francis Ngannou. And, 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 and Ganyu. Perfect. That's it. How many years ago was that? <laughs> Five. Yeah. So They tortured him for it afterwards. You'll never see either one of them put on a boring fight again. And, <laughs> and, and, and here's another that. one. Here's another one that I'd love to research. How often... Does the underdog win? A lot. A lot. A, a lot. A lot more than it does in boxing. For sure. So that's just, I just had to say that. 